Welcome back to Child Time Pods. Your host, Rick. Maybe it's a day from Destro Reborn. Klein of BBLs. They're going out of style. How will average women get attention now? Please, extra them below. Really appreciate that. Let's get that, child. Child Time. Okay. I feel like natural bodies are more in slim, slim, more slim, slim thick. I feel like that is like what's in right now. Imagine being someone who spent tens of thousands of dollars and put their body through so much just to get the trending look. And now it looks like it's heading back to skinny 90s model. Is the BBL going out of style? I don't really know if it's going out of style. It never was in style. Too much, he's like, all right, everybody got it. Now. Yeah, know, just, yeah. And everybody got something kind of go out of style then. Yeah. You know? Even the ones that see, they used to be, it used to be a quality associated with the body done. Right, now so it's now damn near yeah. anybody. So that's why it's kind of like played out. Yeah, like, yeah. Like regular girls. Yeah. Rich girls. Yeah. Broke girls. Yeah. It be, that's when it's like played out. They yep. all look exactly alike. They all look exactly alike. A future rests with Destro now. <laughs> How will the Butterface 5 survive? This is not fair at all. How will the Tempur-Pedic 6 distract attention from her medium ugly face <laughs> to her ever-expanding waist? I mean, seriously. Are we now requiring women to have a well-balanced diet and a gym subscription to achieve above-average attention? How will the average woman get 30,000 Instagram followers and promote cheap protein shakes she doesn't even drink if BBLs go out of style? When you, man, you come on, give Lord Destro some more subs, some more views. The man is, the man is like moving heaven and earth to give us this wonderful entertainment right now. But when I was working in that environment, it was mm -hmm. like it kind of made me want to do it. And like, then you felt the pressure. Yeah, but it's like I did. I I went and got surgery, and I kind of I'm like want to transition back to my natural body. Like, right. Oh, what now? Yeah. Do you feel like it's going out of fashion? Yeah. Really? Did y'all know BBLs are now out of style? Apparently, according to rapper Dream Doll, she is saying not only are they going out of style, but she wants it out of her body. The thing when it comes mm. to this, it's like, um, you don't want to keep changing for trends. Right. right like, right. you're getting the surgery for a trend. You want to remove the surgery for a trend. How about you just do what makes you feel good about yourself? A few moments later. She's saying that she had four different reductions. Damn. So this is what I'm saying. Be careful what you're doing, because I'm looking at Erica Banks, and she seems like she's getting addicted to the surgery. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of people getting into that. You get one thing done, and next thing you know, you, your whole body done, your face done. You all look the same nose. afterwards. She keeps adding in and saying that she wants her third round of BBL, Erica Banks. She keeps adding? What? Sooner or later, your butt is going to just burst when you sit down or something. And I'm just like, can y'all listen to each other? Two hours later. BBLs could never go out of style. They could never go out of style. Really? Some of you women are so mad. You guys are so mad. You want BBLs to go out of style so bad. Look at the confidence and hubris that comes as a side effect of the world famous Turkish or Dominican BBL. Now, we can't call them narcissists because the Greek hunter died trying to touch his own reflection. This is why we call them delusional and not narcissistic, because their confidence is fake. Their confidence is based upon hair that doesn't grow out of their scalps and curves that were manufactured by a surgeon. Solipsism based on the gaze of men that only want her company for sport. Now, what happens when men grow bored of these literal freak shows? Freak shows. Freak shows. I think muscular men get like five minute men. Yeah. yeah. Like, I just feel like he's gonna be like, oh. And then, like, that's Kate. It's insane. She's insane. Okay, let me turn down the hyperbole for a second. Before the first super dehydrated, thirsty brother screams out, quote unquote, but I'd hit that. I get it. I get it. I get it. Your grace would probably hit that ass as well. But trust me, <laughs> she didn't go through all that pain so you and I can sleep with her for one night. She went through that pain to chase fame, attention, or to snag a man that makes over three hundred to $500,000 a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
She's gonna go on the back on the front. Oh, and then lay on your stomach, she said. So you gotta on your stomach. Your oh, hands, your oh, oh, on your stomach. stomach. You it's gonna hurt more. Don't feel bad. It's just, oh. Give me this hand. Not on your I can, side. I can feel stomach. the pain. <laughs> My butt hurt from this. Just watch it. There might be blood Mama. on Mama. No. No. With your success and how you look, I think a lot of young girls look at women like you and think, if I look like Dream, mm -hmm. I'm going to get the success of mm -hmm. Dream. So mm -hmm. do you ever feel, not responsible, but do you ever feel like... Not responsible. Let me take the, the accountability off you really quick. Well, I'm very open when it comes right. to, like, my surgeries mm -hmm. and, you know, how I feel about it. So, you know, I always give out, like, if somebody asks me, oh, how to, you know, remove this or do that or any, any type of advice, I could be towards somebody. But I say... If I would have knew what I knew now, I would have never done it. And that's why I think it's important for you to speak about mm -hmm. it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. It's always funny, like, the women that make millions of dollars off of this tell everybody, oh, I would have not done it beforehand. Really? Because I'm sure those millions of dollars help you say that. <laughs> Dream Doll says that BBLs are going out of style, I think, or most women are wanting more of a small, natural look. I mean, I cover that other story of uh, that one corn star regretting it. How many people are starting to regret it? How many times have we been talking about this? But women still think that we love this shit. And because I'm in the post-op industry- All your faults are mixed a lot. I have also had a video before. I'm like definitely wanting to comment on the topic at hand. Do I think BBLs are going out of style? No, because the girls are still getting surgery. Trust and believe. But they're going for more of a natural look. Um, the reason being is because most women don't want to work out. Um, not saying all, but most don't want to work out. Until Majority. Typically when you have a BBL, after a while, you gain weight. And with that weight gain, it makes your bottom bigger and heavy. And that's why you see a lot of the surgery girls on semaglutide and ozempic shot. If you're gonna get one, or if you're gonna keep one and have a big one, you need to go to the gym. And you also need to have a healthy diet and be realistic with yourself and wear your garment. So, I know I see comments, people like, oh, BBLs are going out of style. Women should have just stayed natural and slim girls are what's in. People want to be slim thick. And unfortunately, when you get surgery and you get lipo and a BBL, you, like I said, you gain weight, which makes you no longer slim thick, you're just thick. So that is my response to what Dream Doll said. And I feel her. Nobody wants to be an overweight girl with a big butt. I'm excluding all of the rappers, football players, and maybe some NBA players. I see what you did there. How many men that make over 300K to 500K a year would want to marry or even date seriously a woman like this. Let's excuse her two kids, wigs, weaves, and criminal record. Really, how many men are in this market for the long haul? Nope. Oh, wait Just for minute. fun. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, blast. You know, the whole time through this video, I could think of those PBLs are killing y'all, and the dyes don't match. <laughs> I know, like it's like it's pretty bad for these women, but I just can't stop but make fun and joke about it. <laughs> Please like, share down below. Really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.